Hi guys, VST here, Valent Pistech, and yeah, that's good luck. Redesign your Galaxy. Probably the most beloved software that is just maintained by a bunch of enthusiast developers in their free time, or at least that's what they claim. But yeah, today we have probably the biggest update for 2022, and just take a look at all of these ends, guys. You know, a red end means a new version. So I'm just gonna give you a short lens here, units, and pay attention guys, there is also, for the first time in One UI 4, a nice short version. So that's the unit part, now we're gonna go into the family part, a lot of reds, but without any further ado guys, I'm gonna go inside my updates, um, 24 updates here, so this only prompts for a new video, hopefully these days, I'm going to split this video in two parts. The first part is I'm gonna check change log together with you. And in the second part, I'm just going to test all these apps that really have new functionality. So everything that is just like bug fixes or a change log for the sake of the change log, yeah, of course cannot be tested. So let's start first with Theme Park. Theme Park now updated to version 10923. Add features to change each app icon and more options to select a wallpaper, which is quite nice. Then we have Fantastic, link with wallpaper and secret resources. Yeah, quite nice, Logstar. Updated to version 210029, update library for the clock face supports, which is actually quite nice. Then we have the Wonderland info, which is now updated to version 1208, link with wallpaper and secret resources, video wallpaper effect, which is quite new, and this guys is quite interesting, add a 3D effect of portrait mode in wallpaper. Enjoy the 3D effect by setting the portrait mode taken with the Galaxy as the wallpaper. All right, this is pretty, yeah, interesting. Sound system now up to version 4201. A color preset is provided on the volume panel and you can apply volume panel to the text mode from One UI 4. A new feature that provides various effects to the microphone in game chat and recording up. Okay, let's see. I'm recording up. I think we can test. Then we have also an update to the One Hand Operation Plus. New features. You can move the screen. Keyboard shortcuts. Definitely worth testing. Then we have version update from Home App, which is probably the most beloved good luck module there. Version now is 13.00035. They fixed the display error of a folder after the SOS upgrade in tablet. Increase the maximum number of favorites to 12 in the folder or device. <clears throat> and if my voice sounds like this, yeah, I'm not in my best shape, still doing this video for you. Appreciate and subscribe. This will get me back on track. Then, of course, we have also an update for the good luck itself. Yeah, with one of my favorite type of change log, just fix a system parameter. I mean, this really tells a lot, right? Then we have Clubface version 2.2. 371, improve decorations by linking sticker resource and apply the clock from watch faces created by the watch face studio. It's kind of used to create watch faces on the Samsung Galaxy Active Watches. And uh, yeah, guys, so without any further ado, I'm going to be updating all of those applications, guys. And yeah, after you subscribing to my channel, you are going to be able to enjoy yeah, the new functionalities because I'm just going to test this for you. And I really appreciate, guys, all the support. It's really important for me that you subscribe to the channel and you like the videos, ah, this is, you know, how YouTube works. Okay, let me fast forward time. But before we start, guys, an honorable mention for the Good Luck team, they're now bringing night nice shot for the first time on One UI 4, and it's really exciting. So you can do plenty of things, enhance screen capture, provide settings such as activating a delete button immediately when you capture the screen. The idea is to just do a screenshot and not save it to the clipboard, all right? Screen recording to set various backgrounds when shooting cell videos, which we can probably test. Right, and yeah, I mean, this is just enough, so I'm really looking forward to also test this option, hands. I'm going to press the magical install button. All right, guys, now we are in one lens, so let me just show you what you can do with the new portrait mode supported background. So I'm just going to get a new one. I'm going to go to my gallery, and I'm just going to get for this picture, right? You have the image settings. You can, of course, enable the motion effect, which means the picture can move left and right, and that's pretty much it, okay? But see what will happen right now when I'm just going to try to apply a portrait picture of myself. So I just shot one for you guys. And when I click on the image setting, right, you'll first see this enabling of a motion effect, right? So if I preview it, it's pretty much the same, right? But when I turn this on, guys, I'm going to get these new options. And this is really exciting. When you're able to set the base layer, when a device is tilted, the further from the point, the more it moves. So you can just go bottom, you can just go center or top. And you can also select for the movement. And the best part is, guys, you have the 3D effect. Now, if I do the preview, okay, this is pretty much a standard thing. Yeah, nothing really moves so much. Or if I go to the bottom, see, it will move a bit to the left and right, but that's nothing. But if I enable the 3D effect, guys, boom, right? You just see what happens? It has this 3D effect, which I've seen on some of the early versions of iOS. Um, yeah, I mean, I will not really set up 
my face there but in case you love ported photos and in case you love samsung and good luck this is one of the things that you can do for sure with this new wonderland option all right now before i move to the next module let's just do a short quiz here some of you recognize this do you know which good luck model is this with all these gesture angles yeah i think you know put the answer down below in the comments don't lie don't cheat i have an option from youtube i can see if you really tricked on me so just pause the video and put the answer down below in the comments and my second question is i mean did you ever experience so much settings for the gesture angles on some of the other mobile os's yeah you can also answer that one and yes that's one hand operation plus so here i am in my one hand operation plus and i set up my left handle and my right handle so my left handle acts as a back key right so we can just do like this one more time i'm just gonna get back all right and of course i have also my right handle which is pretty much set to be the same Okay, now for the sake of this video, guys, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go here and scroll down a bit and boom, move screen. All right, so the move screen is a new option. I'm really eager to understand what you're able... Oh, okay. Oh, my God. You, you see this? This we we Yeah, it's kind of weird, but probably also useful. If you want to check something like this, yeah, again, just tell me any other mobile OS implementation that can do things like this. You know, just straight out of the box. Although I realize it's just an accessibility thing. But hey, it is a new feature, so I had to show it to you. Also, there are plenty of exciting options for you to explore on your own, like the starting of applications, starting of application in a pop-up view, task feature, the virtual touchpad, and yeah, I'll leave this to your imagination. Next on my list is Sound Assistant. So remember, there are some new color options for you to customize the volume panel, and you can do plenty of wonders with the volume panel. But what is very interesting is, guys, see where my finger is pointing? Voice changer. So apply fun effects to the microphone. So I'm just turning on, I'm going to go inside. When the app starts using the microphone, you'll get notification through which you can use the voice changer. So let's just try to record something like, Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. All right, let's just... Hear this one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. All right, now let's use the little girl. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And now, last but not least, before this video drags for too long, I want to show you guys the use of Nice Shot. When you first open Nice Shot, you need to update the Samsung Capture. And yeah, guess why? Because again, remember, nice shot is used for taking screenshots, but it's just not regular screenshots taking. It is taking your screenshot taking to the next level. I mean, pun intended. Inside nice shots, we have two main sections, the screenshots and also the screen recorder. Under screenshots, we have the options not to copy the image to clipboard when saving, which is a nice one. We can also disable crop snapping, but let me share with you what is, I believe, the best option. It is adding the delete button. Now, see? When you take a screenshot, right, you will have this button to edit it or share it, immediately get saved to your camera roll. Now with adding a delete button, see, you just do a screenshot and yeah, if you're not happy, you can just delete this. And it's very, very cool in case you're doing screenshots like me on YouTube videos or, you know, just taking some notes and etc. Now let's review the selfie video options. Besides the fact that you can choose do not disturb during screen recording, which is nice, you have also new selfie video options namely you can make the background color transparent and this is very useful guys if you are using a green screen so you have a green screen behind you and you can just shoot some videos with your phone and yeah just pretty much be able to replace the background right and of course you can also double the video selfie size all right let's do some testing i have selected make the background color transparent and i selected the auto text background color i also will go for doubling the selfie video size so that you can just see guys what I'm doing on the screen. So how does this work? You go inside the screen recorder, you know, you start recording and at some point you decided you're too pretty, you want to show yourself to the camera. Okay, see here, it is trying to, to kind of out detect the colors, but yeah. So see, it is not doing a very good job, of course, because right now I have this many colors, but it's still trying and yeah, I see it's doing some magic here on my beard, but you can imagine the effect if you have a green screen behind you and just including this option inside in the screen recorder is very very nice and more than welcome so guys those has been the best features that i found into all these new good luck updates there are probably many others but i decided to show you this i'll be really happy if you decide to subscribe for my channel please you and your family stay safe and don't forget to come back for some new videos bst over and bye